Hello YouTube and welcome to another Proxmox tutorial. So in this video we'll take a look on Proxmox pass-through disk configuration. So are you ready? Let's get started. So first thing first, what is disk pass-through in Proxmox? So actually disk pass-through in Proxmox is a great feature that helps optimize the performance of your virtual machine okay so actually by giving your vm direct access to physical storage devices you can reduce latency and increase throughput okay okay so actually this concept allows a proxmox vm to read and write to a disk as if it were connected directly to the VM, okay? Okay. Rather than the virtual disk configuration that we traditionally use for our virtual machines. So second, what are the use cases for this feature, okay? So actually, if you have a VM that you want to have a high performance access to the underlying storage, for example, let's say that you have a TrueNAS uh, VM. So TrueNAS needs actually high performance to the storage. So you can implement this feature in order to allow the TrueNAS virtual machine to have direct access to the disk. Okay? Okay. But there are other use cases where you want to pass along the physical hardware to Proxmox. So instead of having the virtual layer on the top of the hardware, you can implement this feature. So normally you use actually NVMe disks or SSD disk for that, but you can also implement that in a traditional HDD disk, okay? So let's implement that on Proxmox, okay? But first, you have to make sure that the disk is not used by another process, okay? And you need also to identify the disk ID. So here I'm going to show you how you can do that on Proxmox. So here, as you can see, I'm connected to my Proxmox server, okay? So I'll click on my node, which is Proxmox01 as you can see here and I can go directly to the session disks as you can see here okay so if I click on the session disks it will actually shows me all the disks that I have okay so as I told you the first thing you have to ensure that the disk is not used or mounted on the host system okay so if it was previously used you might need to unmount it to prevent actually data lost. So here you can see I have actually three disks. I have slash dev slash sda and slash dev slash sdp and slash dev slash sdc. So we will use the last one, this one here, slash dev slash sdc in order to configure pass through disk, okay? But as I told you, we need also a very important uh, actually ID, which is the disk ID in order to configure that, okay? So actually managing disk by ID rather than the, the device name, for example, here we'll use actually, as I told you, device or disk IDs instead of slash dev slash sdc or slash sde, because that helps us to make sure that the VM storage configuration is persistent between reports, okay? So here I will show you actually how to identify the physical disks. So actually you can list all disks available on your Proxmox by using the command list block, okay? So if I go to the shell of my Proxmox here, so this is the shell section, and let's execute command list block simple as that so here you can see clearly that i have actually three disks sda sdp and sdc okay but 
as I told you, we need disk IDs in order to configure uh, disk pass-through, okay? So actually here I will uh, paste a script that allows me to actually get this disk ID. So of course the script you will find it in the description of this video. So let's paste it. So it's pretty simple uh, script using the awk command in Linux in order to list the disk ID with some parameters. Okay. So here we go. So here we have actually, as you can see, the device IDs on the last column. So remember our uh, disk that we want to pass through is SDC. And here you can see clearly the device ID. Okay, slash dev, slash disk, slash by ID. So actually this is a USB disk, scigit slim, okay? So we'll use this edit identifier in order to configure our disk pass-through, okay? So now that we know the disk ID, it's pretty simple to actually configure the disk pass-through to a VM. So for that, we need actually the ID of our VM. So let's say that we want, for example, to attach this disk to a special VM. Let's say, for example, here, as you can see, I have Ubuntu 24.04 here, which has an ID of 141. So let's attach this disk to this VM, okay? So the command is pretty simple, is QM, then set, then here we have to give it the virtual machine ID, so in my case it's 141, then minus vert IO actually, 0, okay, then here I have to give it this disk ID, so I copy it and paste it in order to get actually our pass-through okay paste so this is the command so let's execute it and see what we get okay so everything is good I don't get any error message and the most important thing that I have this update here update VM 141 okay so now we have to check that on the VM itself. So let's go to our VM, which is 141, so which is open to 2404. Okay. And let's go to the hardware section of it. And here we go. You can see that our disk has been attached. So remember, it's SciGet. And this is the disk ID. So actually, we are successfully attached our disk actually to our VM, okay? And also you can tweak actually this disk here if you want. So I click on it and edit it. So you can actually use the SSD emulation if you want. You can tweak the bandwidth of it if you want. So we can use it as normal disk, but this time is actually passing through VM, which means it has high performance. So after passing through your disk to the Proxmox VM, you can actually make sure that the disk is available on the operating system on the VM, okay? And you should also format it and use it as normal disk. Okay, so you can see how easy it is to actually pass through a disk on Proxmox, okay? And also you can do this for a Windows VM. It's not necessary for Linux, you can use it for Windows, Ubuntu VMs or other Linux distribution if you want, okay? You can also add new HDD disk or NVM disk if you want to an existing HDD for the purpose as long as it's not claimed by Proxmox for other purposes, okay? 
So that was just a brief video to show you how to get high performance disk access to VM using the Proxmox disk pass through. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.